but what up it's your boy looking grainy as fuck um listen i wanted to have words on sensory deprivation which is kind of like the isolation tank thing that uh joe rogan talks about is it's been nice i've been in it a few times but first we got to define sensory and sensations being kind of the way i see it it's like light and sound and pressure like heaviness or lightness like how you, you might feel sitting in the chair then there's like the light that's coming into your eyes the sounds that are coming into your ears all of this is being decoded by your nervous system and it takes a certain level of energy to decode this and that's why if you're in a room with bad lighting for too long it's like draining your energy and if you're you know hearing too many loud noises all day draining your energy so it's kind of a neat way that you can start to take your energy back by doing sensory deprivation either putting in earplugs or just shutting off the lights uh relieving yourself of some of the pressure that you might experience you know if you're always sitting up maybe you just lay down on your back it would be some level of sensory deprivation then the isolation tank takes it to a whole new level because it's totally dark totally soundproof and you're floating in epsom salt which is good for you you kind of like it's real interesting magnesium we have to talk about later is too much uh yeah you know you're just floating there and as you get more and more relaxed something pretty interesting start to happen where that uh so that sensory loop of light sound everything coming in and you decoding it actually once there's nothing coming in anymore it kind of can flip on itself to where now you're going to start experiencing sensations that instead of being decoded from the outside they're being kind of projected from the inside and you have experienced this as you're falling asleep maybe feeling like heavier or lighter or even as you're sleeping you're having a dream that you're floating or falling and you're experiencing these sensations although they're not coming from the outside they're being projected from the inside so i'm calling this flipping the sensory loop flipping the sensory loop is going to have benefits towards our own relaxation and generation of new energy uh maybe even more things too so flipping the sensory loop is an interesting idea uh, i'll give you guys different ways to play around with it but just know now that that's a thing that can happen on a general basis uh de-stimulating yourself or sensory deprivation will allow us to rest and generate new energy at the same time if we're able to do that we may experience that flipping of the sensory loop which besides just being kind of nice and pleasant you're relaxed then it can also be useful for mental rehearsals where let's say you want to get used to a particular movement pattern you can actually flip your sensory loop and start to project that movement pattern while you're resting all right cool we we'll talk more later